Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sat in my daughter's bedroom because I am currently decorating my spare room so my room is full of everything. So this may be the background for a while. So the postman has been. I thought I'd open this with you guys on camera. So I've treated myself to a notebook. I I love stationery and things. So I decided to treat myself to this. This is the Filofax notebook. It is a refillable, reusable notebook. Um, I may do another video later on because I want to change some inserts because I already know what colours they are and I don't like them. But I thought I would open this on camera and give you my first honest opinion on it. Okay. Can we remove the sticker? Not with my nails, we can't. So, I have here the diary. I've got to say, this is a lot softer. This is very hard, straight away. But, they are very, very similar. I'm in love with it already. Okay, so. We'll get rid of the cardboard. So we get a ruler, which is very, very flimsy. I've seen a few reviews. I went looking for a notebook and I've seen quite a few reviews and everyone said the same thing and I now see why. It's a very, very flimsy ruler. I love these notebooks because like the rulers and how they peel out, the pages also do exactly the same thing so that you can refill, remove and put them pretty much anywhere you want. This also sits flat. Oh, I've lost my ruler. <laughs> this also sits flat, so if you're writing, you can write like this, or you can obviously write with it flat out on the table as it does open up. It says flat, I'm gonna say it's virtually flat. It's not gonna be perfect, but. So in this book, you do get some A5, oh, nearly dropped it, A5 line paper. Lots of A5 line paper. Oh, there it is. I knew you got some plain paper in it. I couldn't find it. So the actual book is filled with line paper. At the back, you have this little sleeve. And it does have four plain pages and four of your graph pages. Squared pages. I don't know whatever you want to call it so more cardboard at the back the only thing it's very it's not let me get this on camera it's not ridiculously hard but if you bend that you i think you will dis, you will do damage it it's not going to be here. i'm not 100 percent sure on the fact i like how you can see the uh binder but we can see past a few of these things because it is a very beautiful very beautiful notebook um, the only thing I've got to say I don't really like are these, your dividers. This, your first one has a pocket which is very, very handy. None of the others have pockets which, and I've got to say, I think it's a set specific thing. Like, Filofax have done a range of different notebooks. This is one of the newer ones. And I believe everything is the same inside of them. However, I don't feel that these go with this scheme. Maybe they should have done something a little different. I'm a little bit... Yeah, I'm not impressed with them at all. The blue doesn't really go. The purple goes, don't get me wrong. The purple looks nice with the pink. But the bright yellow, maybe the red. But I don't, I don't like the dividers. I would definitely, definitely be in changing those up just put the paper out you're right so overall i do like the notebook i am going to be using this i have a diary i have a cake diary i have everything i want this to be mainly for my youtube work and my bills i want my bills at the back of what i pay out each month and i want to write down all the videos i want to do and basically make lists of things i need to do so i want to do some tag videos and write down all the questions 
I don't know, I could get my computer, I could type them up, I could read them off a computer, I just, I love the feel of putting pen to paper, it's something I like doing, that's why I have a diary and I will go more in depth with these one day. So this is my first impressions. I'm extremely happy with my purchase. They're not ridiculously expensive to be 100% truthful. This cost me, including shipping, £14.49 I believe. Don't ever quote me on my prices because I always mess them up. But yeah, I, I like it. It's going to look pretty in my handbag. And to be fair, you could go into places like Paper Chase and somewhere else and notebooks can cost you anywhere from a very pretty one from eight pounds to 18 pounds so for a refillable reusable one i think it's a really good idea because if you've done something you don't like you can take the page out you can add more pages in you can customize this and put very pretty paper in this which i will be doing because those are the sorts of things that make me happy I am currently doing a pen holder for it because I know I was getting it so yeah I am extremely happy with my purchase for less than 15 pounds I think it's beautiful it would be good for college things like that I don't know if they do this particular style in an A4 but they do do other ones in A4 so yeah it'd be good because obviously you can have certain um, <laughs> I was going to say, you can have certain lessons in these, have all different ones, you can take paper out if you need to hand paperwork in, and it's just beautiful, and I love it. So I'd like to thank you for watching, if you do have one of these, or if you're thinking of getting one of these, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about them, and let me know if you personalise yours in any way, because I'm looking for some ideas to make this more me. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Take care. I will see you all very soon. And bye-bye.